So I wanted to make a quick video. Um, I uh, been using this G0836 for a while. This is the Sieg X 2.7. You know, I really like it for the most part, but there's um, there there's one thing other than the spindle lock, which I already made a video on. Um, this is my kind of improvised little spindle lock here. Um, there's one other thing that really, really bothers me about this particular mill, and it's uh, it has to do with the position of this. So essentially what happens is, you know, as you're doing your work, uh, everything's all locked in the way that you want it. Um, as if, if you're not paying attention, you're up here, you're paying attention to the cutter, you're paying attention to the... Um, device or you're looking at the DRO or you know whatever um, inevitably you're going to be um, cranking on this y-axis paying attention to something else and you'll see that this thing will just essentially catch right here and because this isn't particularly strong uh, and there's so much mechanical advantage on this crank you can really crank on this thing before you really notice that um, you're torquing this over and what you can see here um, is that you know I've already bent it, um, so that is that is not uh, that is no longer straight, and you know it, it will inevitably work itself into a position where um, you're going to be sitting down here, and um, you know if if it if it's passed it's fine. I mean it'll eventually it'll crank into the wheel. It might not actually make it that far, but as soon as you crank in, you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention. And then there you go, it drops down in this little groove here. Let's see if I can't show that better. And once it's down in that groove, there's nowhere for it to go and it, it's trapped. So, um, you know, I think eventually this, eventually this is gonna break off. But, you know, I was looking at it and trying to figure out a different way to actuate this. And I just, I'm not really sure there's a good way. I can, I can try to, I can try to somehow attach like a, uh, a bevel gear that I can put on an offset and put a handle out in here somewhere. Um, but there's, I can't really tap in here because, you know, down here you've got the, um, you've got the gib tightening screw and, uh, I, you know, I don't know that I can, I can tap in and there's just not a lot of meat. There's not a lot of meat down in here. So it's, it's my biggest pet peeve so far with the mill, um, other than the fact that the, the stand is, um, is, has got some problems and isn't, it doesn't seem very rigid at all. So anyway, that's just a couple thoughts about the Grizzly G0836, AKA the Sieg X2.7, AKA the Sieg SX2.7, AKA the <laughs> Little Machine Shop 5500. So, uh, if you have any thoughts or you know of a good way to fix this, uh, make a comment below. Thanks for watching.